Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So in this series of just recording when I'm doing things, either for orders or for personal stuff, um, just to show you how I use design space, I think is super helpful. So let me know if you, if you agree. So anyway, I had made this Don't Mess With The Moose shirt. Um, for my mother-in-law earlier tonight and then I realized I should have made one for my daughter. I had already sliced it and if you watch the other one what I did with this outline of the moose was um, it was super long and not really wide enough and so I ended up unlocking the image which means that when I make it larger or smaller it's not going to go proportionately. Um, that means I can make it wider or longer, etc. So it's going to be tough to duplicate. So I wanted to show you what I would, um, what I'm going to do basically, because I am going to make my daughter a little shirt that says, don't mess with little moose. So, and I want to give it as a Christmas gift. So what you want to do is we're going to duplicate this because we don't want to mess with the original. And then on this one, what we'll do is we'll go to contour. Contouring Super cool. It's, it lets you kind of um, mess with your file without having to, like you can remove things. So for instance, in this one, what I want to do is I want to hide all contours. So it left me with just the outline, which is exactly what I want. Ta -da! <laughs> okay, now what I can do is let's go back to contour. All I want to change really is I want to change don't mess with little moose, right? So let's go to contour. And um, I, it should say there, show all contours. I was going to say we already hit everything. So show all. The only thing that we don't want is we don't want the T, the H, and the E. And I actually think we need to get rid of, uh, let's see what it looks like. Hold on. Oh, no, it's perfect. Don't mess with the, okay. Let's go to text and add little moose. And the font was ice cream. Thank goodness I remember. <laughs> okay. Oops. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to make it white just so that I can see it against the black background. Um, and I want to put it next to here to make to see if the sizing is correct. And it looks like it's about the right size. Turn it. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything, go to align, and I want to center it horizontally. Okay, we, we weren't that far off. And then now let's slice it out. So we're basically slicing out the little. And then now we can remove it. I'm going to delete that and delete that. So now the shirt, you know, if I do a, um, let's say I do a white shirt and my antlers are, or the, the moose is um, red, then the lettering is actually going to be white because it'll be the t-shirt. Um, no, you know what? I don't want all those little, all those little lines. I didn't notice it from before. So let's do this, let's contour here. And see, I don't want those little open areas. So let's see if I can find all of that. Um, I think it's all of these little things. Oh, and the dots. Okay. So hold on. Let's hide all these. And I'm going to make it bigger so you can see the difference between um, the little moose shirt and the moose shirt. 
Okay. And hopefully this, I just don't want to deal with these small little items. I don't want my machine to have to go through cutting all these things. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so let me make this screen bigger. Okay, so you see the letters are clean. It just says don't, right? And then look at this one. The O has a little stuff. The N has a little stuff. So let's go and contour this second one. And let's go all the way down to here. Um, am I hiding these? I think I'm doing it correctly. I feel like I'm... Oh my goodness! <laughs> I thought I was working with the, I'm like, what the heck am I doing? I'm working on the big moose shirt. So I'm undoing what we just did. Oh my good Lord. Okay, hold on. Let's make sure. Yep, this t-shirt looks good. This is the one I want. Oh my gosh, contour. Like, does that really make sense what I'm doing right now? Okay, here we go. So let's go all the way down. And let's hide these items. That's what we want to do. And it's partially, it's just this font. So and it's probably cute if it was bigger, but on my daughter's shirt, it's going to be super tiny because she's four. And I really don't want to deal with these little cuts. All right, here we go. Perfect. Okay, so let me um, see if I can reduce this. Okay, so this shirt, hold on, let me move it over. So for the adult, the female adult, this is going to be eight inches across, nine inches down. I think for little kids, they should be about five by five or six by six. So let's reduce this down to six. I mean, that's going to be so cute on her shirt. I will measure this tomorrow, but that was the quick change of switching out from the to little, even though I had already sliced this. Use contour. Let me show you one more thing with contour that I really like. Um, let's go insert an image real quick just so that I can show you how easy it is to get rid of something. Um, let's see what I want to do. Um, let's look at this one, be the change. So let's insert the image and where it's in, it's over here. Okay, so let's go to contour. And let me show you just quickly. Let's say we just want to say, um, we just want change. So what you can do is and there's those little dots. So if you can see on my screen here, be the has disappeared, but these little items still need to be removed because each thing is its own um, own item. Does that even make sense? So every little thing has to be. So like for instance, in the A, if I click this, Look what happens to the A. You need to have that um, cut out. So, but contour is super cool because you can go in here and you can change things. Let's say we want to make that leaf whole. So you select this. Oh, and that little hole, you need to click on that right there. So it's a super easy way to manipulate your file. All right, let's get rid of that. I am good with this. Let's save it. Mm, there, save as, um, and I'm going to change this to and little moose. This is going to be so cute. I'm actually going to, uh, I'm thinking about doing white t-shirts with um, maybe the plaid, and I'm going to do infusible ink. So stick with me. We will get this 
um, with Infusible Ink also. All right. Send me emails, text, um, and let me know if you want me to manipulate a certain file image. I'm totally willing to work with you because I don't have that many followers right now. So I can totally take requests. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.